Hey guys, today we are going to be painting in the style of Van Gogh. You might know Van Gogh from his famous painting The Starry Night, but he also created a lot of very unique paintings of trees. So for today's assignment, you're going to be painting a tree of your choice in the style of Van Gogh. What I want you to focus on today is really experimenting with colors and focusing on channeling his style into your own piece. This is the tree I chose to paint for this activity. When looking at Van Gogh's art style, there are a couple things that stand out to me. The most obvious thing I notice is his style of painting. He has a very fluid and unique style where he forms a picture using short strokes of color. He doesn't contain his images to very rigid and neat forms like other artists. The second thing I notice is his use of color. He doesn't shy away from using pigmented, vivid colors. In this painting, which I referenced a lot when making my own painting, he uses very bold greens for the leaves and bright yellows as highlights for the leaves. While this might not look very realistic, it creates very noticeable depth to the image and brings visual interest to the piece. The bright colors catch your eye and make you want to look at the painting. The third thing I noticed was the colors he uses to paint the bark of the trees. While most tree bark is brown, in a lot of the paintings I looked at for reference, Van Gogh used less traditional colors to paint the bark. In this painting, he used blue. In this painting, he used green. And in this painting, he even used fuchsia. Though I don't know any trees with blue or fuchsia bark, these colors complement the overall tone of the painting and make the piece look more put together. I want to keep these stylistic traits in mind when I start painting my own tree. I first start off by painting a light wash of blue for the sky. I do this first so I won't have to work around my finished tree later. Then I go in and paint the rough sketch of the trunk and branches of my tree. I used brown paint mixed with blue paint to do this, however I do use more blue paint later on to give my branches and trunk a blue hue. I don't spend much time making my trunk and branches super neat because a lot of it will get covered up when I start to paint my leaves. Then I start painting my leaves. I use a pigmented green for my mid-tone leaves and a yellow for my highlighted leaves. I make sure to use quick small strokes of color to build up these leaves to resemble the style in which Van Gogh paints. For my darker leaves, I use varying shades of teal, or blue mixed with green. I decided that adding blue to my leaves would add more visual interest and variety, because now we have three different colors instead of just two. If I had just used a darker green for my shadows, I feel like my piece would have looked a bit more flat. Then I go in and add a bit more of the sky in between the gaps of my leaves. I brighten up my yellows and also refine where my branches are because I felt like they got a little lost. Then I start on my background. Instead of keeping my sky as a flat blue, I go in and start adding swirls and curvy lines in different shades of blue. I feel like this more resembles Van Gogh's style because in his paintings there is never just one flat color. Then I go in to paint the grass and I form it with swift small strokes just like how I made the leaves. I also use a lot of color variation in the grass so once again there is more visual interest. And here's my finished piece. And this is my finished piece. I know I was definitely challenged trying to incorporate another artist's style into my own piece. And it was definitely a learning curve, but I feel like I learned a lot, especially about color application. I hope you guys enjoy this activity. Thank you guys, bye.